All right, welcome back to Entrepreneurship Tuesday on Why in the Morning. My name is Barry Mosses, or it's Barry Mo on social media. So yeah, this is our last interview of the day, so we saved the best for last. And uh, this lady goes by the name Furnace, and she is the founder of... Mm -hmm. Venica Lady. <laughs> Venica Lady. Lady, which is an outlet for high-end fashion uh, to the middle-end fashion yes. uh, for the ladies. Yes. Karibu sana. Uh, Fanis, your camera is number four. Uh, so, <clears throat> if I left anything, uh, you can introduce yourself now officially. Uh, I'm Fanis. Mm -hmm. I'm a fashion premier. Is mm -hmm. that like that? Yeah, yeah. That, that is a, that is a word. Entrepreneur <laughs> in fashion. Mm -hmm. I uh, we do ladies' fashion. Mm -hmm. And uh, slowly we will introduce the kids and the men's, but mm -hmm. currently we are dealing with men's fashion. We've been in the business for about two and a half years. Mm -hmm. Two and a half years in, in counting. Yes. All right. Yes. I was made to understand you had to resign. Uh, you had to leave your job to start this business. Yes. All right. What job were you doing, friends? I was an accountant. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, you, are, you were an accountant? Yes. All right. Do you stop being an accountant when you stop working for somebody? You don't you're stop. <laughs> you don't stop being an accountant. Once an accountant, always an accountant. Always an accountant. Yes. All right. So uh, you, this was a nine to five, I'm guessing. Sorry. You were working from nine to five. Eight to five. Eight to five. Yes. I even gave you less, <laughs> less, <laughs> uh, less one hour. Yes. All right. So uh, how long did you work as an accountant under somebody or for somebody? Uh, about six and a half years, uh -huh. yeah, um, working uh, at first uh, in an insurance mm -hmm. insurance uh, broker, mm -hmm. yeah. All right, so I'd like to know, uh, out of these six years, yeah, at what point between, I, I want to know the point between resigning and uh, the conception of the, of the idea just when you said, I'm going to resign from this job and start my own business. Uh, how long between that decision and act the actual resignation? Because I know you need some time between deciding and, uh, and resigning so that you can plan life after resigning. So how, how long was it for you? Uh, actually, I, res I always knew that I wanted to be my own boss. Mm -hmm. Even, All along. Even while I, I was working uh, as so an accountant. So the whole six year period, <laughs> you knew at the end yes, of this. Yes, uh, uh. I always wanted to, to do my own thing and uh -huh. to be my own boss uh -huh. and to also give opportunities to other people to come and, and, and work and learn the business. Mm -hmm. I always knew that I wanted to be the boss mm -hmm. and not to be, you know, to report Slaving to someone. someone. Yes. All right. I get that. So uh, you had to plan your life after resigning, obviously. Yes, yeah. yes. All right, so what are some of the steps you took to, to make sure you don't go through uh, the, the stories that we have had of people resigning and things not working out? What are some of the things uh, you, you kept uh, to account? Um, I would say just um, getting to know what uh, I really wanted was, um, it was a, a very difficult thing. Mm -hmm. Because uh, I didn't actually uh, knew that I wanted to do fashion. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, in my mind, I wanted to do something to do with beauty and mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. Because I I found myself that when I was growing up, I was um, I was more into hair and mm -hmm. beauty. My elder sister was doing those hair stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I knew I wanted to go that direction, but. Um, after I resigned, it took about uh, one and a half years to two years, I can't remember the period quite well, um, to start um, the fashion business. So that means I tried hair business as well. Mm -hmm. So while I was at it, at the hair business, uh, this friend of ours, um, our family friend, I'm mm -hmm. married, our family friend was uh, leaving the shop that um, he was working mm -hmm. in, that uh, Rehema place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so he offered us that space. Mm -hmm. And we thought, uh, why not? We can try what he's doing. <coughs> but he uh. was doing men's stuff. Mm -hmm. So we decided to do ladies instead. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, when you say we, uh, you mean you and your hubby? 
Yes. All right, so he's very supportive of what you're doing. Yes, he's my number one supporter. He's your number one supporter. Yes. And a business partner. As yes, well. and a business partner. And a life partner. As well. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Is he watching yes. right now, by the way? Um, and maybe. catch us on YouTube. You'll find us on YouTube. That yes. is at Y254 <laughs> channel on YouTube if you miss anything or if you know somebody you'd like uh, to see something after the show, you can direct them to YouTube. That is at Y254 channel. All right, so. Uh, you went into the shop. What, where did you get your first stock from? Um, after we made the decision to do the business, to continue with the business, mm -hmm. we traveled um, abroad mm -hmm. to go and find um, what we wanted mm -hmm. to stock, mm -hmm. the lady staff. Mm -hmm. We were all new, so we didn't actually know what, to, what the ladies want at mm -hmm. that time. Um, we would base uh, specifically on um, what I... You liked. Yes, what I liked. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that was the <laughs> a mistake. Uh -huh. That was uh, the first mistake you made. <laughs> that was the first mistake because some of the stuff we stocked from... Uh, uh, actually, we went to Bangkok. Mm -hmm. uh, so some of the stuff that we stocked from Bangkok, mm -hmm. we still have them till, till now. Till now? Yes. Do you wear them? <laughs> <laughs> you can't wear all of them <laughs> because the sizes vary. All right. Yeah. So that is a loss you counted. Yes. And this is a mistake you learned from. That is a mistake. All right. When you go into business, I'm, I'm trying to understand, when you get into business, it's not about you, it's about the customer. It's about the customer. That is lesson number one for you yes. in the process. Yes. All right. So nowadays, where do you get your stuff from? Um, we stock from the UK mm -hmm. and a bit from US. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, uh, critics will ask, yes, that what is wrong with Kenyan fabric? What is wrong with Kenyan cotton? What is wrong with Kenyan silk? What is wrong with Kenyan uh, outfits? What is wrong with Kenyan lions? Uh, we have very amazing and um, designers in mm -hmm. Kenya, uh, but the fabric we get, uh, the kind of quality we get from the UK mm -hmm. and the US, mm -hmm. we have not seen it uh, mm -hmm. around. Yeah. So there's room for improvement as yes. Kenyan manufacturers. Yes, and even if it is it is available mm -hmm. in Kenya, it is very expensive to get a designer to do it mm -hmm. for you to resell. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so it's very hard to get a designer who can execute yes. things how you want some them. Of, yeah. So until then, you're going to be important. Yes. What are some of the challenges that come with importing uh, your stock? Um, the lead time. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes the customers want things like um, they they've seen a design mm -hmm. and you've already uh, started to watch for the sale or like promoting this mm -hmm. is what is coming mm -hmm. and the time it takes is actually not uh, the way you expected mm -hmm. so it takes quite a long time mm -hmm. sometimes mm -hmm. you expect some goods to arrive in maybe a week or mm -hmm. two it ends up taking like two uh, like four weeks to mm -hmm. six weeks. Mm -hmm. yeah, so, so timing is a factor. Yeah. Uh, is what is factor. another challenge that you face when it comes to importation of your stock? I can say also the cost. The cost, the of, cost importation, of importation. Which needs to be, which is going to, is uh, which is the weight of this is going to be put to the, to the consumer. Yes. Or it's going to be put on the consumer. You have to transfer, yeah. You have All to right, you have to transfer that. That <laughs> yeah. is the word I was looking for. Yes. You have to transfer that. Yes. And this affects uh, the business. Yes. In the long run. Yeah. Obviously. Because <laughs> definitely. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I feel that as 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 uh, the market is transitioning to, to 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 the internet. We were talking about gig economy with my brother this morning, mm -hmm. and uh, we've seen the market transitioning to the internet. Uh, we can get hostels from the internet wherever you want to go in this world you can get a hostel or a house on the internet you can get a taxi on the internet yes. you can get stuff delivered to you mm -hmm. how are you guys adapting to this new market or new way of doing things in the market when it comes to retail and stuff we are there mm -hmm. like we are so <laughs> that, that is a perfect <laughs> that is a question you're waiting for <laughs> yes uh, we uh, are there we are mm -hmm. on social media mm -hmm. um 
our clientele, uh, the age, mm -hmm. the age group is um, tech savvy. Mm -hmm. So they are always in the internet. Mm -hmm. uh, most of the time, you'll f you'll rarely find uh, youth coming, uh, you know, brick and mortar to mm -hmm. come in the shop to mm -hmm. shop there. They want to see it online, mm -hmm. and if they will come first, they'll have to have seen it somewhere. Mm -hmm. Then they will come to shop. Mm -hmm. So you have to be on all platforms, mm -hmm. literally. Uh, in Kenya, I've seen Facebook and Instagram working quite well. They're working quite well for you? Yes, quite uh -huh. well for us, yes. All right, so you market on Facebook and Instagram, which is uh, free of charge sometimes, unless you want to sponsor your ads. <laughs> All right, so I, li I like that. Uh, how about the e-commerce? E e e the where, where you sell your stuff exclusively online, like somebody can get online and buy and get it delivered. Is this something that you do? We have we have actually considered that, mm -hmm. uh, though our website is not yet um, done mm -hmm. currently, but uh, we think um, there are just a, f a few people mm -hmm. or a few group of persons mm -hmm. who, even if they see something online, they have to touch and feel. You know, the uh -huh. touch and feel. Touch is and still feel it. A culture yes, in the country. Yeah, uh -huh. it's still the culture in the mm -hmm. country. So. There are those that trust the internet. Mm -hmm. They've bought for you. You know, if, if you've uh, supplied a customer once, mm -hmm. twice, and she has already trusted your quality. Mm -hmm. So they will always uh, go online mm -hmm. and purchase it without having that doubt in mind. Mm -hmm. But there are others, uh, the touch and feel group, mm -hmm. they have to come to the shop. They'll see it mm -hmm. online and come to the shop, feel it, then mm -hmm. buy. All right. They'll always do that time and time again. All right. So uh, the business environment in Nairobi, as we speak, how is it according to you? Could it quite be better or we are doing well? It's quite competitive, but mm -hmm. I think we can, we, we, we can do well. Mm -hmm. We can do well. We can minimize importation. We mm -hmm. have great designers in Kenya. Mm -hmm. If we get the right fabrics, mm -hmm. we get uh, um, a minim minimal labor cost. Mm -hmm. we, we, we like can China. Yes. <laughs> like, right. Yeah, like China. I feel that. So th those are some of the aspects we can improve. Yes, yes. How, how about the, the regulators of business, like the Nairobi County Council and uh, the, the other regulators? Do you, do you feel like they're doing a good job to business owners like you? Uh, with the Nairobi County, uh, yeah, I can mm -hmm. say that. <laughs> <laughs> you have do, not had a problem do, with them. We've, we've not had any problem with mm -hmm. the Nairobi County. I've not encountered any problem with them. Mm -hmm. um, I think the county government, if you have permit mm -hmm. and you followed uh, the law, the, law, the mm -hmm. way they want it, most probably you'll get into minimal friction <laughs> with them. You get into minimal friction yes. with them. So everybody's doing their job yes. and you're doing yours as well, yes. which is amazing. So uh, when it comes to... <laughs> to grow in the business. Mm -hmm. You told me you were talking about branching out, mm -hmm. like getting into kids mm -hmm. uh, and men's fashion. Yeah. All right, from what you've learned, the lessons you've learned, what are some of the, the skills you're going to be have, using when you're approaching this big step? Like, mm -hmm. Learning the customer needs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, getting to know what the customer really wants. What's mm -hmm. the quality of, of my ideal customer mm -hmm. or my frequent buyer? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so when we get to know this parent I'm selling to mm -hmm. uh, would like their kid to dress in this manner or mm -hmm. with this kind of fabrics or mm -hmm. with this kind of uh, attire. Mm -hmm. You know, there's some uh, parents who want their kids, th the girls always in dresses mm -hmm. and the others who prefer. The girls look girly. Yes, uh -huh. for the girls to look girly and uh -huh. princesses, you know. Uh -huh. Yeah, and the the boys to look like you know this is uh, look I'm in masculine. control. Right. <laughs> yes, <look masculine. laughs> okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so just getting to learn what the customer wants, mm -hmm. and then working backwards. So getting to know what the customer what the wants, customer wants, and then work and backwards. And then work backwards. Yes. Wow, powerful words right there from Venice. Uh -huh. I like that. I like that. So uh, as we wrap this up. Uh, there's a question we posted on Facebook, and this is uh, just comparing and contrasting. Uh, the person who goes to bed late, the person who works late, or the person who wakes up early to work, which one do you think is the best concussion for success? 
hard work. Hard work. <laughs> doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> doesn't matter what time of the day it's done. It doesn't matter what time of the day you start. Uh -huh. It doesn't right. matter what time of the day. There are people who could start early, mm -hmm. put in uh, um, more uh, hours and uh -huh. more hard work in the early hours when they mm -hmm. are still fresh. Mm -hmm. But there are people like me who work better late <laughs> late uh -huh. i feel that yeah. so people are different also people are different. but at the end of the day what brings people together is what you put in uh, what, what takes you to the top is what you put yes, in it yes. doesn't matter what time of the doesn't day think that is the best time. answer i've got yes. <laughs> i've got today so far so before we sample the feedback i'd like you to look the viewers straight into the eyes and tell them mm -hmm. the reason why uh buying from you is the best option they have in nairobi or kenya or East and Central Africa, or whatever the the size of the market you're trying to reach. Why buying from you is the best. Look them straight into that. What separates you from other retailers? If you've ever been disappointed mm -hmm. by a tailor, mm -hmm. we are here. <laughs> we are here. Number one. <laughs> Number one. Fundi. We are here. Uh -huh. It's uh, you visitors, you fit, you take what fits you. Mm -hmm. Um, sometimes with a few adjustments, mm -hmm. we can uh, we, uh, we can do that for you. Mm -hmm. But you are assured that what you see is what you get. Mm -hmm. And Venica Lady is the best option for you when it comes to that. We offer quality clothing. Venica Lady offers quality clothing. Yes. And, uh, so one question from the viewers before we sample that is, uh, this will take us back to, to the idea of Kenyan fabric and Kenyan... Kenyan designers, do you stock any Kenyan designs or Kenyan clothes by chance? Currently not, but we currently are, not. Currently not, but uh -huh. we are looking into that. We you're actually look, you're finding the you're trying to find we the are best. trying to find those designers who uh -huh. want to partner with us. We want to stock their designs and we want to put them out there. Them. All right, this is a call to all the designers out there. If you think you're doing something good you can reach them uh social media handles how they how can they get to get in touch with you on facebook mm -hmm. uh it's venica lady mm -hmm. and instagram is at venica lady mm -hmm. yeah. venica lady on facebook instagram at venica lady yes Thank you very much, Venika, uh, lady or <laughs> finest <laughs> founder <laughs> of Venika Lady. Uh, you're going to tell me what this Venika means. <laughs> All set, I think. Uh, but right about now, we are going to sample feedback on our Facebook page. And the question was simple. Uh, if waking up early, as early as five, makes you successful. So maybe we can sample a few before we come to the end of this. So apparently, Lazo and Sam, I always wake up at five. Uh, every morning. I don't think waking up early makes you successful, but I believe waking up early and planning for your day brings you closer to your goals. That is deep and that is really good. Apparently, Lazo, thank you very much for your feedback. Ses Empress Anasama, I, uh, good morning. Naivasha, well represented. I always wake up at three except on weekends. But tell us, Ses, what has waking up at three done for you? What change has, has, has it brought to your life? All right, Ken K gangstinger mm -hmm. all right gangstinger some morning if you wake up to stare at the ceiling then you can't bring no change if you wake up and go to work it's a no because you're doing the same thing but if you waken up to do something extra then for sure you will get something out of it. That is very deep. And thank you very much. Well said. Uh, uh, Kelvin Kibeta Nasema tuned in from Nakuru. Thank you very much, Kelvin. You didn't have uh, a lot to say. You just say you just had to tell us you're watching. We appreciate you. Uh, Weru Paul Anasema, good morning. Watching from Neri County. Uh, Brian Kimani Anasema, good morning. Y254 tuning in from Kiambu. Waking up as early as five helps people plan their day. And it's also good for your body. Thank you, Dr. Harry. Someone go get us over Kayole and Ivasha represented. Kayole and Ivasha, we appreciate you guys so much. You are always watching Why in the Morning. Shigali Iana, some of the best TV station in the 254. Hey, that's a big crown, but we are going to carry it. Uh, Lavins and Josh and Asama, good morning, watching from Kiambu Town as usual. Frederick Chagi and Asama, all that matters is how you plan your day and what activities you take. 
to better your life as well as other Kenyans. Getundu South represented uh, Nancy Mjanja wa Keno Anasema. Uh, Keno Kaga, Muranga County well represented as usual. Tick, tick. Uh, Baba Dogo well, well represented. 100, tick, tick. Simon S. Wa Kimsi Anasema. Anasema Ivo. Millicent Nyawira Anasema tuned in from Karats. I think this is Karatina. <laughs> Shout out to you, Atua Karats. Uh, Sami Njigusha, Sabatiri from Nyandarua, Mkarabati, Gwiji, Hope Center, Niko Mtamboni, Morris Mungai, Mumbia, Nasema, Wana, Mka, uh, Watu Wote, Waploti, Wakienda, Job, uh, Ha, <laughs> Rayako, Dame H-Town, Nasema, Not necessarily, but the wise men said, Ali bird catches a worm. Mm -hmm. Isaac Spice anasema for me hakuna kitu ka hicho BH ukiwa <laughs> serious na kitu unafanya hata uamke sana <laughs> still you will be successful if you're serious it doesn't matter that is the, the exact thing you were saying <laughs> It doesn't matter the time of the day. It's the work you put in. Yes. Uh, Lawton Greg and Sema locked Nikiwa Kiambu me. Usi. Hey, namkanga. Uski. Okay, Uski. Wow. Kiswahili kigomo. Aha. Maybe to anze. Part of bad, hard work. Prince Kadija and Sema give the rise fighters. Siwezi amkia. Bet. <laughs> Five a.m. <laughs> <laughs> Love that you came here, I like that one. Nazis, Mjaja, Nazemandani, Gujo, Bora, Ulale, eight hours. I don't mind what time you wake up, Wezi, Amka, five, then we ingie kwa nyumba, 11 p.m. Yes. In a matter na ilo job, unafanya, Dennis Kimathi. Gugston, M. Morini, Anasema, not really, in a depend, unamka. That Ali kufanya nini ka unamka kuangalia notifications na ku post nonsense. How will you be successful? He ends that with a question. Thank you very much for everyone who sent their feedback our way and uh, participated in the conversation of the day. Uh, on behalf of everybody who's made this possible, uh, we'd like to wrap this up. Uh, shout outs. Salam. Kuna any shout outs to send? <laughs> <laughs> Atan your oh, best customer for last month, <laughs> Msalimi Etu. Atatuona on YouTube. Oh, my mm -hmm. best customer, Sylvia. <laughs> Sylvia. Shout out to Sylvia for supporting Shout the Kenyan business. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and of course my hubby, John. Uh -huh. And the hubby as well. Yeah. Shout out to the hubby and Sylvia for supporting uh, Kenyan business. We appreciate you. Keep moving. Uh, I'll give you another chance to tell them your social media handles and how they can uh, get to interact with you in case they want some fabric or in case they'd like to stock you with them. Okay. Uh, you can get us uh, on Facebook at Venika Lady mm -hmm. and Instagram at Venika Lady. Mm -hmm. we, are, we have a shop mm -hmm. on Gong Road mm -hmm. at Rehema Place. Mm -hmm. Um, we come to shop 48. Mm -hmm. um, what else? Uh, my uh, number. <laughs> my number. <laughs> you go to Our number. Oh, oh, the number, yeah, sure. <laughs> Our WhatsApp number is 0708 You can all also right. reach us there. Thank yeah. you very much, Vanish. Yeah. And uh, all the best, uh, Nika Lady. We wish you all the best. Thank we you. are hoping to see you at the Nairobi Stock Exchange in future. Yes. All right. <laughs> All right. Yes, we have come to the end of Entrepreneurship Tuesday on Y in the morning. On behalf of everybody who made this possible, my name is Barry Moses, and uh, we, my co-host, uh, is Karanja Alex. I was about to say was, but he's still here with me. So on behalf of him as well, I'll say bye-bye. Tomorrow is Queen's Wednesday, my favorite day.